Welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast, where we interview experts in various fields with the goal of empowering women to make informed decisions about their health, life and family. I'm your host, Amy Jane Smith, and I would like to thank you for tuning in today to get comfy while I introduce our next guest. Hello and welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast. My name is Amy and I'm your host and today is part of my new Frequently Asked Questions series. So what I'd like to do is have this and the videos to come as short little snippets to answer common questions that people have about women's health, about pelvic floor, about nutrition, about all sorts really. So if you do have any questions that I haven't covered yet, please get in touch and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me some feedback. I love receiving reviews because it helps me to improve this podcast. So without further ado, let's get into our question for today. Now the question for today is, are pelvic floor exercises the same as Kegels? And the answer to that is kind of yes and no. And you might find that a lot of answers are yes and no. Yes, they are Kegels. And what a Kegel is, is um, squeezing so Use your imagination here. I am going to use my hands and things to demonstrate, but if you're listening only, then visualize as I'm telling you. So imagine that you are squeezing your pelvic floor muscles to stop yourself from weeing, okay? And then you relax. And then imagine you're in a crowded lift and you're squeezing your anus to stop yourself from passing wind. And once you've found found that and you've kind of squeezed it and lifted, then relax. So those exercises are pretty much the basic Kegel, okay? It's the squeezing of that sphincter muscle around the opening, so your urethra or your anus, and it's tightening to stop any wee or wind or feces from coming out. So that's what a Kegel is. How I work with uh, my clients is we kind of put that along a continuum where we kind of we start with that squeeze to stop a wee squeeze to stop passing wind action and then we kind of grow and build from that so i want to answer that question really with describing a little bit about what the pelvic floor muscles are so the pelvic floor muscles if again i use my hands Imagine this is the base of your pelvis and say this part here are the sitting bones and this opening here is kind of where the the muscle sits. And about here is your urethra, your clitoris, your urethra, your vagina and then your anus is further towards the back. So kind of this top half, I use my fingers here as a guide Anything above the fingers is kind of where the the um, vagina and the urethra sit. Below that is where the anus is. And all of this area is your pelvic floor muscles. So if you imagine that, and if you're not watching this video, I want you to just, and you're not driving, place your two thumbs together and place your fingers together, almost like you're making that love heart action but you're making a diamond with your hands that is kind of the size and the area of your pelvic floor muscles so they sit in the base of your hips so if you put your hands on your hips that's the top the pelvic floor muscles sit at the bottom of that where your anus vagina and urethra are all of those muscles support your internal organs and they flex and they move to help keep everything in place and keep you confident. So that is in a nutshell what the pelvic floor muscles are. If we are just squeezing the 
little bit around the urethra or the little bit around the anus, yes, it is a pelvic floor exercise. Yes, it is going to help you connect and hold in urine or wind or feces, but it's not training the whole area to work when you cough, jump, sneeze, exercise, run for the bus, things like that. So yes, a Kegel is a pelvic floor exercise, but it's not the end of that journey. So that ans hopefully that answers that question. If you have any questions and if you want to learn how to get from that Kegel, that squeeze and lift of the sphincter muscles to incorporating all of the muscles, then by all means get in touch and I will post a link to either book a call with me or to find a pelvic floor physiotherapist in your area because quite often we don't know whether we're doing it properly, we don't know if we can feel it, and a pelvic floor physio can check and measure. So that is your first frequently asked question, hopefully answered. Please give me a comment, send me a message, let me know what you think. And if you have any other questions, please get in touch. It is info at connecthealth.fitness or you can comment on this podcast. Thank you, have a great day, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to the Women's Wellness Podcast. For links and show notes, please visit www.connecthealth.fitness forward slash podcast. I would love for you to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we release our next episode, and please share with anyone you think might benefit. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you soon.